salutations friends welcome back to my channel filming in here because I've been putting off this video all day and I have to film it for you guys because I really want to film it tonight I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about my Elizabeth Arden green tea collection I'm gonna be going through every single one very briefly and I'm gonna let you guys know my favorites as well and tell you why I like this collection so much you guys hear me talk about it all the time. I mention, mention them in a lot of videos. They're a fantastic fragrance and I love all the flankers. So yeah, let's get into it. I've talked in depth about how much I love Elizabeth Arden, uh, specifically the green tea line and its flankers. So I'm not gonna get too crazy into that, but I wanted to share with you guys the current flankers that I have. I'm constantly adding new ones to my collection. And I also wanted to explain to you why I like these so much and why I constantly gravitate towards collecting every single one. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, I believe there's 20 or 30. I could be wrong. They just released Green Tea Fig. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I don't own it yet, so it's not part of this list. But let's start off with Green Tea. This is one of the first scents I wore religiously. I love this scent. You guys don't know, I mentioned it all the time, Francis Kirkjohn is the nose behind this scent. It's one of the scents that really made me fall in love with his point of view when it comes to fragrances. And this scent is gorgeous. I wore this all the time. It's beautiful, it's complex, it's really easy to wear, specifically, I mean specifically in very humid and hot climates. And I just always loved the freshness and brightness in tea scents. And this one was no exception. In fact, this is the one that made me really fall in love with tea fragrances. So this is the one that started it all. This is probably my, oh my gosh, I think I probably went through at least a dozen bottles of these, if not more. I used to go through them so much quicker. I used to go through like a bottle like every three months. I would bathe in it. It's just so freakishly good. So this is, you know, one of my newer bottles and I wear this all the time. I wear this during the day. I wear this at night when I'm going to sleep. I wear it right out of the shower. I just, I take this to the gym. I just really, really love this scent. So this is obviously my favorite, but there's definitely contenders in the flankers for um, um, second and third place. If I had to choose a second place, it would easily, and I mean easily, be a green tea lavender. This is the only one I have in a smaller size. I do kind of want to get a bigger size of this, but then I'd have two, so I'll wait till I wear through this and wear a bigger size, or uh, purchase a bigger size. Actually, no, I have another one that's a little bit smaller. This is such a gorgeous scent. This is definitely a definitively unisex scent. I know a lot of these fragrances, specifically from the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea line, can be very sweet, can be feminine leaning. You guys know my thoughts on fragrances. They are universally genderless, but there are definitely trends on the female fragrance side that a lot of guys just aren't comfortable wearing. They don't like smelling like that. There's nothing wrong with that. Vice versa for men's fragrances that a lot of women just don't want to wear and they don't want to smell like. So if I say it leans um, feminine or masculine, I'm talking about trends on both of those sides. But if you don't like feminine scents, but you're looking for a very fresh, easy to wear scent, definitely the most unisex fragrance from the line. I really, really love it. The lavender in here is just really aromatic. It's kind of more of like a soothing aromatic, I said aromatic, I know, um, a soothing aromatic lavender rather than kind of more of a culinary herbally lavender. It's just really, really beautiful and it pairs really well and it kind of tames a little bit the sweetness that the green tea can have. You will hear my cats fighting and yelling and screaming at each other. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. The next one, I kind of had them all strewed about, so please forgive me. It's not you. It's not, here you are, yes. Um, on the opposite end of the spectrum, my sec or my third favorite, I would say, is green tea honeysuckle. This is so Pretty. I love honeysuckle scents. It's a scent that my mom used to wear a lot of times. We used to find a lot of roller balls and like essential oils with honeysuckle. And I really, really loved it. I don't know if you guys remember a long time ago, there was kind of a luxury, that's my cats, a luxury um, like um, beauty store called Garden Botanica. And they had an entire like area where you can mix your own perfumes. And I loved going in there and smelling things. I would always gravitate towards their like honeysuckle oils and things like that. 
just really, really beautiful. This is fresh, really feminine, very easy to wear in humid weather, and I really enjoy this one a lot. So those are my top three. If I were to choose then another top five, uh, number three or number four would be a green tea yuzu. This is a fantastic citrusy bright scent. I love wearing this to bed, specifically in the summertime. It's just really, really good. Very fresh, a little bit sweet, a little bit tangy. It works beautifully in humid weather. And then number five would be a green tea nectarine blossom. This is beautiful, very sweet, beautiful kind of soapy just a little bit soapy like if you guys have ever used orange blossom or um, neroli uh, shower gels there's something about them that i love and that i like to use and just really enjoy this kind of reminds me of the tom's one and there's just something about the fresh sweetness that this has with the white florals that's really really beautiful and i really enjoy it so those are my top five so then the next ones I have in my collection, I'm just going to share with you real quick. If you want reviews of any of these, please let me know. I'll be more than happy to do it. This definitely was a contender for the top five. This is green tea jasmine. I love jasmine scents and I love green tea scents. It's just really, really beautiful. It pulls a little bit on the more soapy jasmine green tea side, which is why it's not a contender for the top five, but I still really love wearing it. So it's a little bit more of a soapy, fresh jasmine, uh, less uh, kind of like a rich, sweet white floral jasmine. Then this is green tea mimosa. My mom got me this, love this. It's such a happy scent. Perfect scent to wear, specifically if I'm running errands in the springtime. So I'm going to be wearing this one a lot. I love it. Then I have Green Tea Summer. I did a swap with an amazing subscriber. They were so generous and sent this to me. I love this scent. There's something about it that just works in the summertime and the humidity. It's practically perfect. Um, it smells uh, close to a lot of other of the green tea scents, though. It's not as distinctive as, say, the yuzu or the lavender or the honeysuckle, which is why it's not higher up in my list, but I still really enjoy it. Another one that I would say is a little bit more on the unisex side is a very clean, fresh scent. When I think of clean scents, I'm thinking of scents that kind of remind me of really nice bath and shower gels. Some people don't like scents like that, but there's times and places for them. And I think they are great, like middle of the day, hot, humid weather. You're going to the grocery store, you're going to the post office, you're going to be stuck in traffic for 45 minutes, and you just want to smell good and happy. And these are this is one of those scents. The cucumber in here is very refreshing, very cooling. And again, this kind of, because the cucumber kind of counteracts a little bit of the sweetness that the green tea fragrances can have, I think this is, again, one of the more unisex fragrances, but not nearly as unisex as the lavender. Then we have the only one that doesn't have a top. My mom got me this, it was really nice of her. This is green tea bamboo. I really like this scent. I actually really like layering this with another one, which is green tea lotus. This, I love layering these guys. They smell so good together. This is one I will wear if I can take the top off. Yeah, it smells so good. These are two I will wear right out of the shower if I take a shower at night and I'm just gonna be playing video games or editing videos or writing articles. It's just such a great scent to wear. It kind of is calming, it puts me in balance. It sounds weird, but at night, like I am like have anxiety, my mind's going a mile a freaking minute. And this is just a very calming um, um, combo, that's the word I'm looking for, that works really, really well. I think it's gorgeous. One that I think is a fantastic, and I mean a fantastic, uh, springtime scent, and I'm probably going to be reviewing this very soon for you guys because I think it is so perfect for spring, is Green Tea Cherry Blossom. This is a floral scent, I know. Florals for spring, how groundbreaking. Oh my gosh, my cats, I'm so sorry. Um, but there's something about this that is playful and youthful and just really perfect. Perfect for really casual springtime afternoons. Really beautiful, and it's a little bit different. The Sakura Blossom is a little bit sweet, it's fresh, but it's not too fresh to where it smells like soap. Again, I don't mind soapy scents or scents that kind of resemble um, 
bath gels or shower gels but this one to me just smells like a really beautiful cherry blossom scent i really like cherry blossom scents in the spring and summertime and this one is perfect then we have green tea tropical and this one is so much fun this is probably one of the more fun fragrances from the green tea line it is just to me it's more of kind of like a really like inexpensive vacation scent like i don't mean it like a cheap scent but if you guys have ever gone like on a really quick like say daycation or staycation where you don't go any place too crazy but you kind of want to get in the spirits of the vacation this would be a scent i would recommend wearing it's really tropical it's a little bit fruity it's a lot of fun i just really really like this scent again it's another perfect scent for humidity and last is last in my collection is not my favorite i still really like it so i'm not sitting here dissing it but out of all of them this is my least favorite and my least worn i still do like it and it's spiced green tea and this one is it's nice it doesn't to me honestly if i'm gonna wear something like this it's a little bit aromatic i'd probably just go with the tropical or the lotus and the bamboo together it kind of it doesn't smell the same whatsoever but it's just different enough that i would probably want to go with something else that i'd want to wear and i can't really layer it with others so it's not bad if i want to wear something that's a little bit um aromatic and spicy this is a great one to wear in really hot weather but there's other scents in my collection that i've reached for but i kind of got this because i'm a completionist <laughs> so but i do like it and i do wear it so this is my collection of green tea. My mom just bought me a bottle of green tea exotic. I haven't smelled it yet. She surprised me with it. So the next time I see her, I'm going to get that. So it's not part of this list. But I did want to kind of tell you guys why I'm so excited for these scents. These scents are so affordable. They are so easy to find. They are so readily available. And what I like most about this line is the consistency and the cohesion between all the fragrances. Green tea is definitively the heart and soul of this line, as it should be, because these are all flankers. But there are so many flankers, and I believe they release a new one each year, that it would be easy to see that the green tea heart would get lost. And in sense, kind of like green tea spiced, maybe, maybe a little bit of green tea tropical, although I still really love this one. Please forgive my cats. You tend to lose a little bit of the beauty of the green tea. Now, what I love about this scent is it's really complex. There's a lot, I mean a lot going in this. I'm not gonna link the notes of all of these scents. I'm gonna write them all below if you're interested, but I'm just going to write the notes of this scent. And there's a lot going on in this. There's a lot of complex complexity, there's a lot of artistry, there's a lot of balance in this scent, and there's a beauty to it because it comes off so effervescent and easygoing. And that's what I like about all the flankers. They're not fussy. They're just fantastically perfect grab-and-go scents, specifically in humid environments. Now, I prefer to wear very heavy, very thick, rich scents. I like a good barnyard oud. I like a really thick gourmand. You know, I love those crazy complex scents that are hard to wear and hard to understand. But in South Florida weather, again, if you guys don't know, I live in Fort Lauderdale on the water. It is constantly humid here. It is constantly hot. And it's just like unpleasant. Like people think Florida is beautiful. It's really not. It's beautiful for two months out of the year. And the rest of the time, it is just a humid mess. And so wearing those complex scents is really hard for me. So I do kind of have to make concessions sometimes and wear scents that are easier for me to wear in my environment, specifically if I'm going to be around my husband, if I'm going to be around my sister and my nephews, you know, one's turning two and one's four months old. You know, my, um, my brother-in-law is not huge into crazy scents. My mom's not huge into crazy scents. I mean, she likes crazy scents, but I like to wear crazy things. So these are like my the core of my grab and go. And I think that's why I love it because there's a variety here. You have the lavender if you want an aromatic unisex. If I want something a little bit more tropical, there's green tree tropical, nectarine blossom. If I want something a little bit more fresh and crisp, you have the yuzu and you have the cucumber. You can layer these, you can do a lot with these, but at the core, it still has that beautiful green tea DNA. So aside from maybe spice green tea, 
the one that might lose a little bit of the core but I think it actually works very successfully is actually green tea lavender and I think that this works beautifully. Now green tea fig I've only tried in passing but I was blown away because I love fig and I love the creaminess that fig can have and the green fruitiness that fig can have. Fig is kind of like veti where it can go a variety of different ways and I was really interested to see how it would be paired with this green tea and oh my gosh it's gorgeous. It is sweet and light and ethereal and sheer on the skin but you got that beautiful fig that is in no way compromised whatsoever while the green tea DNA is in no way compromised. It's gorgeous. So this is a line that is really affordable if you guys would like to have a nice variety of scents in your arsenal. You can really layer these, have a lot of fun. They generally have really good longevity. I get about six to eight hours on my skin, moderate to medium sillage. Most of these, if not all of these, are professional appropriate. So you can wear these to work, the class, or the theater. They're very easy to understand and you can pretty much shower in these. You can't really overspray these. I've noticed I've tried because I really like wearing them. And I find that some of these, depending on where you're going, can also be evening appropriate. I wouldn't say formal, but I would say if you're going someplace in the evening, like a dinner, these are a fantastic fragrance to wear. So I think these are very uh, utilitarian scents, very versatile scents, but still really beautiful. And there's a lot of artistry behind these scents. And in a lot of cases, I think that they are overlooked. And there's just something about the Elizabeth Arden Green Tea line that really touches like my little perfume shaped heart. And I just get so excited when I add a new one to my collection. So that is my green tea and flanker co uh, collection, guys. I know this video is a little bit long, I'm sorry, but I didn't want to talk to you guys about how much I love these fragrances. And if you guys have any experience with these fragrances, good or bad, I would love to know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, guys, if you like my videos, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Let's me know to continue doing videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time.